can I even just bring this path out even more? A few little stones and Now for the tree. So I'm just dipping again, I didn't bother cleaning the brush. Just dip the very edge in, just a bit more water. You see there's a bit more water now. And now I'm gonna go for the dark colours. I've got to clean the brush because I'm going for a dark, a dark mix, so it doesn't matter what's already on there. Burnt umber, ultramarine. And then let's start. So where's the base going to be? Let's put the base somewhere about there. And then just, I'm just looking how it's going on the, in the in the picture. Just I'm just following the limbs, just following the main limbs up the tree. I think there's just actual two trees. Just seeing there's another one that sort of comes out. Comes out that way. And then if I switch to the uh, switch to the rigger. And just put a few more. A few more smaller branches on there. It's getting lost now for which which branch is going to which tree. But doesn't matter. So all I'm going to do now is just put some of the uh, dead leaves on that. So I've cleaned the brush. Cleaned the brush. I've took the excess off on that uh, lip on the jar and then I'm just scuffing Drying the brush on the uh, tea towel and just scuffing it up as I do so, just so that the airs are going all over the place, like so. And then back into that dark mix, just tap, just very lightly, and then just start to put some of those, just give the impression of those leaves on the trees, only very light. Doesn't need much. Two down there. You see, just just very very light light touch. That'll do. That'll do it. And then I just want something down the uh, button there, just to. Just to ground those. Ground those trunks. I think that'll do for that. I'll just pop a little figure. A little figure on the uh, walking off around the corner. 
very simple. Switch to the rigger, just very watery mix because I don't only want it to look be very subtle. And then maybe just uh, pop his head in. And then his feet. Back some more even. For a little dog. A little man walking his dog, you can only, you can only just about to see. And then just somewhere on the ground, just so it doesn't look as if it's just floating in the air. And then a couple of birds up here amongst the trees somewhere. I think I'm just about finished with that one. Sticking with the rigger. And just pick somewhere out of the way and just pop your signature down it. Down there. And that's another one finished. Let's have a quick look. Quick look at the photograph. You can see I have to try and do something with the scar because it was so bland. Just by a bit of raw sienna, a bit of ultramarine blue, and then putting some clouds, lizard in crimson and pines grey. You see how just keeping the clouds nice and subtle just gives a nice pleasing effect to the sky, it makes it look a lot more interesting. And you can see the path, how I've tried to improve on the path, make a real sort of feature out of it, and a little bloke walking his dog, putting a few rocks to sort of emphasise the path even more. And then just a very very simple, simple way of doing the tree there on the left hand side, using the hike, putting most of the branches, and then just very lightly putting in the, uh, the dead leaves and twigs and what have you. And that's uh, just my little impression of Sutton Park. Hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and I'll see you again soon.